we were given a distance and velocity. So we want to use the velocity as a function of distance equation. So the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the change in y position. And let's call up positive y. Okay. All right. So now we want to calculate the final uh, velocity of the putty just before it strikes the ceiling. So VF squared. The initial velocity is going to be 9.50. And it's going to be positive as it's in the direction that we define positive. Plus 2. Actually, it's going to be minus 2 because gravity is now pulling in the opposite direction. So our acceleration is negative. Negative 9.81. And the change in distance, I'm assuming that y initial is 0, is going to be 3.60 meters. Okay, so solving. 9.50 squared. Is 90.25 and 2 times 9.81 times 3.6 is 70.63. Adding these two together and taking the square root and to three significant figures, we get 4.43 meters per second. Okay, so that's part A. Now for part B, we want to find how long did it take to reach the ceiling. So that's a little bit easier. Um, so we have velocities and time. So we want to use velocity as a function of time. Um, and that's given by the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity times the acceleration times time. So solving for time, we get Df minus the initial divided by A. 4.43 minus 9.50 divided by negative 9.81. A second here while I type this in. We get T is equal to 0 